हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑडियो फ्रॉम वीडियो फाइल और यू कैन कन्वर्ट वीडियो टू एम थ्री यूजिंग एफ एफ एम पी जी वेब असेंबली इन साइड द ब्राउजर इट सेल्फ सो आई हैव डिप्लॉयड दिस टूल ऑन माई वेबसाइट फ्री मीडिया टूल्स डॉट कॉम आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन सो बेसिकली दिस इज द सर्विस है विच अलाउज यू टू कन्वर्ट द वीडियो टू एम पी थ्री सो यू अपलोड एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ वीडियो है and basically it will convert that into mp3 files so if i select any sort of video here so you will see that if i select this video processing video you will see that automatically this will convert this to mp3 file here you will see that it the file will download it as attachment which is mp3 so no server side code is involved in this guys only the files are stored inside the client side pure javascript is used here so we are not storing files of the user at our server side so it is completely fast process using ffmpg in the browser using web assembly so web assembly is a great concept guys as you know it's a low program low level programming language just our machine language so it makes it possible to use ffmpg inside the browser itself so as you know ffmpg it's a open source audio and video processing library this is its official website here so many a times if you want to use ffmpg you need to be having a vps hosting virtual private server and also some kind of a server with the root level access to use these services but ffmpg web assembly makes it possible just to you need a single index.html file in the browser itself you can use this process so this is its official website here which allows you to uh, make a uh, full advanced video editor in the browser itself you can read more about it in the documentation section here they have deployed their own app in netlify so all the encoders what encoders you can use here all the syntax is given so let's start building this application guys if you want the full source code you can go to the video description link i have given full source code in the video description so now let's get started by building this application guys so i will now go to my projects directory so i will make a new directory here which will be video to mp3 uh, make a new let me have video to mp3 cd into this and i will open this inside visual studio code text editor so you can see that now the very first thing guys we will make package.json file so you have seen numerous videos of fmpg web assembly on my channel so uh, express is not necessary we just need a server file here that's why we are creating this so index.js just create this so const of express require express and just make a new express app and uh, app dot get so when you open the home route you simply need to send out a file to the user so we can use response dot send file directory name index dot html so now we can start this application at a particular port number so we can say that app app dot listen five thousand that's it so now just change this to index so now you just need to make index dot html so all the code will reside inside this so we can change this title to uh, video to mp3 and for this guys we will use bootstrap for styling purposes so just copy its cdn here only the css part and we will also use jquery guys so simply copy this also just after the body and uh, this is the whole library guides so which is ffmpg web assembly this is a minified version so simply copy the script tag i have also given this inside the video description all the source code is given so simply copy this now you will be able to use ffmpg in the browser itself so now just make the interface of the application so you will have a simple heading that video to mp3 and uh, here we will have a simple input field of file so we will give it a id to it of file and this should be required and basically we also need to give it a bootstrap class of form control and then we will have a simple button that will be having the text 
so these are all bootstrap classes so this will be extract or download audio mp3 so we will have one one other button guys this will not be shown to the user the display will be none when you load the application for the very first time so this will be convert extract audio again so basically this is a button and we also need to give it an id of again and this button you need to give it an id of uh, button that's it so this completes the interface of the application now we can run this by nodebound index.js you will see that it is running now so we can open this inside the browser which is localhost 5000 you will now see it is saying cannot mo find module express let me see oh sorry i think we haven't installed this npm i'm express so install this module guys so I, I i think i forgot this so now you can see this is our, our interface which is ready if you choose file here you will be able to choose the files so one of the modification we can do we can only accept video files so you can just add a accept parameter here which will only accept video files that's it and after that guys you can write the javascript part here so this is same for every ffmpg webassembly video you need to first of all uh, import these two methods create ffmpg and fetch file from the base library of ffmpg and then you need to create the progress bar which will be shown in the button and uh, this will be progress of type e so inside this progress bar guys first of all we will make the button as disabled so we will have the prop disable to true and also we will change the text of the button with the help of text method of jquery so we will say that the processing video space so here we can simply say in seconds so basically it, it will tell the user how the progress has been made so there is a property of e dot time so this will uh, give you each second of progress inside this so automatically this will re-render itself every time so now we have this uh, input field here you will see that we have given this id here which is file here so we can target this so whenever someone uploads the file we can simply first of all get element by id file and then we can attach a event listener so element dot add event listener change and then we can execute this method trans code so basically this will convert the video to mp3 so this will be a async function guys so inside the async function we will have the target files target files i think i have written wrongly here async target so this will be a arrow function so first of all we will extract the name of the file which will be from coming from file 0 we will have, uh, load the ffmpg library and then we will use the file system module to write the file with its name which is passed and we will fetch the content using fetch file method and this is content is there inside file 0 that's it then we will run the command which will simply convert the video to mp3 so inside this command we will take the input as the name of the file and then we will convert simply to output.mp3 so you just need to change the extension from mp4 to mp3 this this will extract the audio so now you need to construct read this file which is created the output file which is output.mp3 so read file and then in the second argument just type the name of the output file which is output.mp3 so then again guys this is very easy we will we are doing this in every video in order to download the file as the attachment 
so i will not rewrite it once again just explain you what is happening here so you will see that we are again showing the again button we are hiding the file input we are also hiding this button also and then using the anchor tag we are uh, you can see mim type is audio slash mp3 we are giving a unique file name to the downloaded file and downloading it as an attachment using this anchor tag so last but not least we also need to write the code for whenever we press the again button so in this method simply we will reload the page so we will simply write uh, location dot reload so this will reload the page so now if you refresh the application guys if you select the input file you will now see it is i think something wrong has happened shared array buffer is not defined so typically guys that is the error that you will get if you are building it on local host and to, uh, to rectify this error you just need to add uh, middleware function here inside your express application i have given this link in uh, code in the video description so just go to my blog post in every application whenever you are developing it you need to first of all add this middleware function to your express application so once you add this you will no longer get this error which is you are getting this shared buffer error so if you select this choose the video file and now you can see processing video in seconds so now th this is a progress bar which is shown to you so once it is completed it will automatically download it as a mp3 file so in this way guys you can extract video from uh, extract audio from video files so this is extract audio again so if you click this button once again it will reload the page and this is your interface so i think i haven't given the again button the classes of bootstrap so that's why it was not looking good so you also need to give the class here which is btn btn danger btn block so that was the tutorial guys if you like this and please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well and uh, i will be seeing you in the next stream